Hi folks, uh, you'll have to excuse the slightly janky video setup today, um, but obviously if you bought one of the stocks, you've received these in the mail, and I want to make sure that I get a video to you so you know how it's assembled. Um, pictures weren't really doing it, so I thought a video is definitely better. Anyway, so you should have a stalk, you should have these uh, two M5 fixings, you should have these two cap head fixings, these two grub screws, this little countersink, and this lock nut. You'll also get three different size of Allen keys and the stalk lock. This bit isn't included, but it's important for our little tutorial here. It's basically um, a representation of a helmet. So the ear on your Sabine Wren helmet should look like this, or you know any that's on the stalk lock system that we're working on. Uh, and basically there should be five holes in total, a big one in the middle, a countersink here on one side, and then the three other holes. Um, so obviously we're gonna be looking at the inside and the outside. Through this tutorial, obviously it's much easier for me to flip this tiny piece. You'll be going in and outside your helmet, so feel free to pause this at any moment that you need um, and reach out if you get stuck. But anyway, I just want to show you all the fixings that you guys should have. Obviously, if you're missing anything, get in touch and we'll help out. So, first things first, we're actually going to um, take the stalk lock. You can actually see it's engraved here. And there's, if you can see, there's a little arrow. This is going to help us align this when it comes to installing. So we're going to flip to the inside of the helmet. And you want to make sure that arrow is facing up over when we line it up over here. So we're going to hold it onto there into position and flip it round and, and look to the outside. Now what we want to do is we want to install this small countersink fixing into here. So we're going to do that and hopefully it's not going to be too much of a pain to do it on camera. But yeah, we're going to we're going to go for it. Um, obviously, if you have your own like better grade IT um, Allen key sets. Then of course, feel free to use them. Um, these were just something we could get in available in bulk and include with you guys so that if you didn't have better tools at home, you could just use the ones we include. So all this is going to do is just stop the thing rotating around. So we've got to the end. We're not going to make it tight at all. It's just going to sit here. You can just see it just protruding through there. Um, and that's it. You, you can still slide around. That's totally fine. Don't worry about it. We're, we're not going to go overkill here. The next step is we need to identify which one of these two cap head fixings we need. So if you happen to have quite a thick helmet, this this helmet, this uh, piece here printed is three millimeters. So there's this length of fixing. Um, basically, you can just install it and find out. So this one goes in the top hole. I'm using the shorter one here because that is the one that should be fine for most people. Um, we're going to take our medium sized Allen key and we're going to screw it through. Okay. So at this stage it should look like that. Uh, it's through the helmet, um, it's nice and comfortable and you can see it's only protruding by just maybe you know one or two millimeters. That's, that's exactly perfect, that's exactly what we want. Um, yeah, so that should be that should be spot on. At this stage uh, there's there's a couple of options. I've got these little printed fixings that I've made um, that I'm thinking of including, excuse me, Gabriella's hair joining us there. This is going to help you install the, uh, the nut without having to use a pair of pliers. However, uh, you can use a pair of pliers and if you're out in the field and you need to do a repair outside, you may not have this with you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm either going to make this as a download or I'm going to just include it in the kit. I haven't decided just yet. Um, but I mainly want to get it out to people. So this is keyed, so it can only go on one way. Once you've installed that fixing and you've got obviously these two little lugs, you basically place the whole thing over just like that, so you can see, uh, and then you can just drop this nut in like that. So that nut now is, is secure and, and it won't rotate. Otherwise, you have to use the pliers and flip it around and you have to, you know, tighten the screw up and, and, and it's a bit of a pain. Um, obviously when I was planning this all out with my prototype, it wasn't so hard to do, but I want to make things easy for you guys. So uh, I'm thinking this is something that will be available either. It'll either be available completely for free as a download, or I'm actually going to print it and include it in the kits. We'll see. Anyway, at this stage we want to take our stalk with our little, little smiley face, uh, and we want to install it so that the, uh, the groove that you see here should sit over that fixing that's protruding. So, at this stage, you should just be able to move it freely. It shouldn't grind in any way. Um, if it does, maybe your fixing is 
too short or it's too oh sorry well if it does if it's too short and it doesn't fit then you need the longer one but if it is grinding for whatever reason you can just back this fixing off just a little bit so that this doesn't grind at all because we, we don't want any grinding at this point um, so once you've got this uh, held like that at this point you can take the fixing that you need in our case I know the smaller one is the one that we're going to need and we're going to take our larger uh, allen key here and just go ahead and install that so bear with me uh, and as you can see because I've got that thing on the back I don't need to have a you know a pair of pliers holding on that nipping away and being a pain generally or a, you know a wrench if you've got one so what we're looking for at this stage we want to tighten it so that basically it holds itself up um, you can see it's a little bit slack down here, so I'm just going to, and, and this is where the fine tuning comes in, which is why I want to do a video. So I want to tune it so that it just holds its position, and you'll have to fine tune this for every helmet. Obviously this is going to be different for everybody. Um, we just want it to just hold itself. Okay, so this at this point is just a standard 90 degree turning um, stalk. It won't move past it, it'll go forever. This will last you know, for as long as you look after it, everything will be good. Um, at this point is where we're gonna put the grub screws in. So at this point, we're gonna take our little tool off and, and just put that to one side, or your pliers, whatever you've decided. I wouldn't recommend leaving this in permanently. Um, I mean, you can if you want, I suppose, but it's gonna make it a bit harder to install these. So the next bit we need are our little grub screws. Now these grub screws have got little ball ends on them. Um, you're not gonna be able to see because they're really tiny. But basically, oh, you might be able to, there's a tiny spring-loaded ball bearing, and that's what makes these things lock, and it's the, the, it's the sparts behind them. So we're going to just very loosely install them first into the threaded holes on the, on the, the glass-filled plastic piece, and we can use the, uh, the smallest Allen key for that. So we're going to just go ahead and just spin those in. You can see they're pretty high, we don't want to... We don't want to go too far. Make sure that you put them in uh, not at a wonky angle. Make sure they're nice and straight. Like that, so we don't cross any threads. Um, and at this point, you can see we've got no click. So what we want to do is we just want to go in with one, and we want to do half a turn and test. Half a turn and test. And keep going until you start feeling the click. Okay, can you guys hear that? So that ball to tent is now uh, hitting the ball track. That is it, we stop with that one. And we're now gonna do the same again. We can kind of match the height, uh, just as a general indication, is, is probably a, you know, a, good, a good rule of thumb. And we can kind of just get up there and get really close. And we should feel a good solid click. Now, if you want, obviously keep tuning ever so slightly. You can take a little quarter turn and you can keep tightening it up. What you don't want is though, if you over tighten it, for example, let's go all the way down, it won't move at all. And if you're very close, you might actually grind. So you have to just be careful because you don't want to cause any damage to it. It is metal, metal on metal will scratch. And uh, yeah, once you've got it to this stage, you're good. Everything is set. You are ready and locked and loaded in under 10 minutes. So good luck guys.